I am James Swanick, and today we are talking to the UK's leading biohacker and the founder of the Health Optimization Summit in London, which is probably Europe's biggest biohacking event. Uh, his name is Tim Gray, and he's a new friend of mine who we met, uh, I guess we met in 2023, and we're here in London, England. I have a stop drinking business where we help executives and entrepreneurs to have a better relationship with alcohol. Um, I'm not sure if I shared this with you last year, but um, the University of Washington did a scientific study on our stop drinking process, and it showed a 98% reduction in drinking, which is pretty amazing. Alcohol, what do you know? Tell us what you know about how bad alcohol is for us, and is there any safe consumption? Uh, is complete abstinence the best route? Is it okay to have a drink a day? What do you know? What do you think about alcohol? Alcohol is bad, okay? It is toxic to our liver. In fact, it's so toxic, it makes us do funny things. This is why we get drunk. Our body just doesn't know how to deal with it. It's very strong on the liver. For instance, you know, we know that alcoholics have, you know, fatty liver and so many different, uh, so many different health issues as a result of the liver always struggling to deal with it. It also kills off the bacteria or bacteria in our mouth and in our guts. Um, and people that, for instance, I know on my own data is when I drink, I see my heart rate is increased by 15 to 20 beats a minute through the night and my heart rate variability tanks to almost, you know, nothing. Shows that it's a stress on the body. And then my recovery score and I don't feel so good the next day as a result. There's multiple reasons why not to drink it. You know, also you can see how water retention is on people and how it ages people and, you know, it really does speed up the aging process. Nor I. There was a study... 2022 out of the UK of 35,000 middle-aged Brits. And it showed that even one seemingly innocent drink per day was enough to cause some gray and white matter degeneration in the brain. And that was just one modest drink a night. That's seven standard drinks a week only. And so I look at that and I go, well, that means that nightly glass of wine, not only is it disrupting your sleep and causing you irritability and fogginess and lethargy the next day, but it's also causing some level of brain degeneration. Now, how much brain degeneration, I'm sure, differs from person to person. But if a scientific study of 35,000 middle-aged adults shows that one drink a night causes some level of brain degeneration, I say that is reason enough to just give it up completely. I agree. I agree.